Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code, and welcome to another episode of our Django tutorial series. In this video, we will begin with working with our database. So whenever you create a Django project, it automatically creates a SQLite database for you. And this SQLite database is placed within your test site or whatever your root project is called. It's placed within that folder and it's called db.sqlite3. Now, in order to create tables within this database, you need to modify your models.py file. And models.py is within the app folder that you have here. So within your app folder, navigate to models.py. And within models, I already have the code written out here. You're going to create a new class. So each class within this models file represents a new table within your database, within your SQLite database. So here I'm creating the class user, so the user table, and the parent class for this is the model class. And each attribute of this user class is going to be an entry within that table. So we have a username, and this is a char field of max length 255, as well as a password which is the char field of max length 255. And I'm just showing you the bare bones of this so that you can get started, but we'll obviously add some more to this as we create a more full-fledged app. But once you have this created, what you need to do is actually add it to the database because although you've saved this file, it's not actually been added to your SQLite database. So in order to do that, head over to your command prompt and with the command prompt open, run the command python manage.py make migrations. So python manage.py make migrations. And once you do that, it will make the necessary migrations and add it to the database. And once it adds this user to the database, it will create a new file within your migrations called 0001 underscore initial dot py and it shows you exactly how that table looks. So I have a table called user and I have the username and password fields. And as you can see, it automatically added this ID field. And so each table within your database will automatically be correlated with an ID so it's easier to access later on. So you don't have to access it by name, you can access it by ID. And once you've made that migration, you need to actually migrate it. So you'd run the command python manage.py migrate as we've done before. And so it applies all of the migrations and it runs the migration that was just set. And once that's done, you've added a new table to your SQLite database that you can manipulate as you want. All right, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Hope you've learned from it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. This has been Steam Code. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.